So City of the Play God is one of the newest books in the Rick Riordan Presents imprint, which is um, his publishing of all kinds of books that come based on different mythologies. And they are all really, really good books. And we've put them on book lists before. So um, in City of the Play God, we meet Seek, who is a 13-year-old boy living in New York City who spends all of his free time working in his parents' deli since his older brother Mo was killed two years previously in a motorcycle accident. So he is on um, cleanup duty one night uh, around midnight because even though the school the next day he tends to still stay up late to close up at the deli and he hears noises coming from the alley out back where the dumpsters are and he goes to investigate and he sees two really odd looking guys who are talking about uh, chowing down on rats and on people's fingers which weirds him out quite a bit. Um, nonetheless he tries to scare them off uh, but they follow him back into the deli and they are surrounded by flies and beetles and maggots and this is totally weirding him out and it gets even worse when as they point out their boss shows up. Turns out that the first two guys are demons, henchmen for the Mesopotamian god of disease and war Nurgle and he is there because he is convinced that Mo stole something from him and sent it to Seek. Seek has no idea what he's talking about, uh, but is about to lose the fight to Nurgle when Bellet, a sword-wielding girl he's seen once or twice in school, shows up and scares him off. It turns out that Bellet is the adopted daughter of Ishtar, the goddess of love, and the two of them are going to try to figure out what it is that Nurgle thinks Mo stole and Seek has. Um, and try to uh, more or less save the rest of New York City.